Good afternoon, I'm Nate Myhock. Welcome to Up North at Four. Today we'll talk about sipping wine, and then Jeff and I will test our Canadian skills. We'll get to all that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. One thing that I love about living in Wisconsin is that there are not many animals that could attack me. I don't have to worry about wildlife when I'm out for a hike. However, I am genuinely terrified of geese. They are mean and they are nasty, but maybe there is some hope after all. A family in Utah found that a goose living near them was super aggressive. They even had signs warning others, but they eventually realized the goose was just guarding a nest. After that, they knew how to approach each other and they now consider themselves friends with the once, once unapproachable goose. I suppose we could all learn a little something from this story. You know, I like to think of myself as a friendly guy. I try not to pick fights with people, and I especially won't be doing so in Mexico City anytime soon because more than 14,000 people gathered for a boxing class. That broke a Guinness World Record and also probably qualifies as a small army of trained fighters. So it would only cost me $10 a month to get Netflix and then watch Back to the Future movies as often as I wanted. Or I could also pay $75,000 to watch it as it was originally intended. A mint condition VHS copy of Back to the Future from 1986 just sold at auction for 900 times the original cost. And what's especially cool is that the tape belonged to Tom Wilson. He's the actor who played Biff Tannen. Not a bad payday from a movie you worked on almost 40 years ago. You know, we've all seen the viral videos. When it gets really hot out, you'll see people frying eggs on the pavement. But the weather in Minnesota took it one step further. The roads began to buckle due to extreme heat over the weekend. Not good for cars, but probably a good ramp for bike riding, I'd imagine. And Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us now. Jeff, it is hot, it is sticky. Are we going to see any buckling roads this week? We are. Lots of heat out there right now. And by the way, tomorrow is the longest day of the year daylight-wise. On Wednesday, we lose three seconds of daylight as we head toward fall. But today, yeah, here we go. Out there, lots of sunshine. It's hazy, it's hot, it's humid, uh, it's windy as well. Hardly any clouds out there. Currently, there are a couple of puffy clouds out there in spots. But overall, just a warm day with temperatures doing this. It's currently 92 in Rhinelander right now with the southwest burn around 17. But look at the dew point. We're up near 70 right now, so it feels much warmer. It feels almost like 100 degrees outside right now. Over in Wausau, 94 for you. By the way, the record high in Wausau is 98. The record high in Rhinelander is 94. We have not hit those today. Uh, the south breeze at 11, dew point there of 70 making it feel like 100 in Wausau right now. And here's the heat. We're the warm ones, right? Wisconsin, parts of Minnesota. By the way, Minnesota right now. Minneapolis, there we are. The actual air temperature is 100 as of right now. Okay, so don't forget your pets, of course. They need lots of your love and some water out there as well. Uh, yeah, they need our help with temperatures like this, of course. And then going forward, tomorrow's 72 or 92, same story. And then 81 for Wednesday, 84 Thursday. You get the idea. Uh, tomorrow's the hot one again, followed by a bit of relief getting here for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then a bit cooler for us by next week. And overall, a warm stretch of weather is on the way for us. Also on the way, lots of clear skies tomorrow again, as everything is going up and around us right now, just like that. You see that? They call it the ring of fire pattern, and we are under the warm part of that as this will stay there for now. It's going up that way, and we're going to miss the rain for a couple days around here, most likely until later on Thursday. Our forecast then tonight, though, is mostly clear skies. It's hazy, warm, humid. Look at the low temperature, or not so low, low temperature at 72. It's tough to sleep in that, as you know. Your full forecast at 5 o'clock. Sleeves at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun with prices so low you'll have to bend over to see them. Prices that'll make your eyes pop out. Want to sleep watching TV? Check out our recliners. You want to pass up face first in a sofa? Check out our sofas. And beds, we've got beds. Check us out. Prices so low you'll think we're crazy. Because everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun. I'm Tim Michaels. My company was building the Keystone Pipeline, but then Joe Biden canceled it. 
afraid to offend liberals. Biden killed hundreds of jobs, sent gas prices way up, making everything more expensive. Only a career politician could make such a mess of things. I'm Tim Michaels. Liberals like Biden and Tony Evers are destroying our economy, and the hardworking people of Wisconsin, they're paying the price. As governor, I'll fight to make sure you keep more of your money, and I don't care who I offend to do it. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Did you know you can start your four-year degree locally and get the same college experience closer to home? From the moment you step onto our campus, we'll be there for you, supporting your dreams, saving you money, and giving you a well-rounded academic and social experience with student housing, clubs, sports, and leadership opportunities. With NTC's Liberal Arts Transfer Degree, you can start here and go anywhere, including guaranteed transfer to UW-Madison. North Central Technical College, transferability made easy. Okay, guys, okay. <laughs> Welcome back here to <laughs> Do Up North at 4. Vicki Sherry joins us now on the couch. And if you couldn't tell by uh, this prop that she bought along with us today, we're talking wine. We right? certainly are. And it looks like she's been busy drinking some yeah, wine. Is this, all, is this all you're doing? Well, part of it. <laughs> <laughs> part of it's it? A, part it's a group it. effort. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll let that one slide. But Vicki, Sip and Swirl, it's a wine tasting event coming up in Three Lakes uh, later this week. Just tell us a little bit about what's going sure. on. Sure. Uh, Wednesday, mark your calendars for Wednesday, mm -hmm. this Wednesday, the 22nd, at the Writer Center in Three Lakes, we are having a sip and swirl. Ooh. So the Writer Center is a community center, senior center, where you can have weddings, um, we have exercise class, we can hold up to 250 people for a meal. So, a um, people drinking wine. So, yes. Okay. So let's talk. What it, sip and swirl, all right? Yes. So you sip, and if you sip too much, you swirl. What's well, going on? With, with wine, you you sip and you swirl before you drink. Haven't you seen the oh, what are they, some, you, right, like, like right? the decanter thing where you smell it, then you're sure, like, sure, okay, sure. Okay, it's a wine taste. So we have seven different types of wine. Um, vendors so they okay. may have a few different wines um, we have food we have appetizers besides the vendors who have the food um, we have entertainment Brett Winters will be entertaining us a little bit of music a little bit of music uh, you get a, a, a etched glass to take home Ooh, so you get to choose fancy. your glass Very and fancy. it's twenty five dollars um, either at the Writer Center at the chamber or at the uh, door, you can buy your tickets. All right, so this Wednesday, for 25 bucks, you're set in the mood, right? You got the wine, oh, yes. music, cheese. Yes. And you can learn something as well, right? We're talking Correct. about, it's a wine tasting event. I've been on several of these. You can mm -hmm. learn about really kind of cool wines. Especially see the, the man who's serving the cheese. He knows quite a bit about cheese and uh, wine pairings, so mm -hmm. hopefully he'll be there, so. I say I, I love cheese. <laughs> I do love cheese. Good. I'm not that big of a wine guy, though. Okay. But it seems like you even can grow I, into it. I say you can grow into it, but there's something for everyone. Desserts too. Sure, right? you can drink water if you want. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's <laughs> water. The wine. It, Jesus turned water. Into <laughs> yes. Wine. I mean, it, you know, it, it, there's it a dog works, named so. Moses over there somewhere. Oh, there. So there's, yes. there's things going on here. <laughs> Okay, so uh, other than that, so the cheese. You mm -hmm. said goat cheese, one of your favorites, right? Yes. How come? I just like the, the nutty flavor of goat cheese. Goat cheese it's is so just good. very, so very good. And it does. It pairs well with wines because mm -hmm. wines naturally have like a nutty kind of ness to them, like earth tones to them, right? Exactly. It yeah. sounds like you know more about wines than I've been on <laughs> what several, you are I have, Seriously, saying. I've been on several wine tasting things, okay. like high-end ones, like in Houston, out in L.A., and it was like a thing. Like, you know, sure. you don't, And you go home in a cab because you just drink so much, but Same. you learn a lot about wines. This isn't Jeff's first road. <laughs> 
audio. That's, no. that's what he's telling us. <laughs> I really that's enjoy awesome. wine taste. This is, this is I mean, for twenty five dollars. I that? know. No. How are you doing that? I mean, obviously the sponsors are sponsoring the, things. The vendors have the samples, mm -hmm. and they also have wines or bakery. If you'd like to purchase, uh, you may do that also. And and these are local vendors. You're saying, Correct. right? So like, yes. it's actually homegrown, I guess, if you will. Yes. We have two Wine, right? uh, wineries mm -hmm. and four other uh, people who are letting you taste their wines. Okay. That sounds okay. right so up Jeff's side. How come sure. I've not heard of this before? Is this the first one? Like, this is. We, the Writer Center is having its very first. So, Ooh. Whose idea was this? Our we board. Need, we need more ideas we, like this. We're coming <laughs> the from the board. Okay, yes. and you mentioned it, it's a donation, right? Donation to the Writer's Center. We are a nonprofit, mm -hmm. okay. and we have a few items to fix, so that's why we decided to do it. Perfect. And then, uh, so it's going to a good cause. Yes. We're getting local vendors. Uh, it's all kind of staying in-house in the Three Lakes area. You guys have Correct. a golf outing this weekend, a baseball tournament yes, this weekend. Yes. You guys are popping over there. In, in fact, a Saturday, there's um, the now returning shootout, the Powerboat Radar Race, mm -hmm. is back on That's Big right. Stone Lake. Baseball tournament at Don Burnside Park. Women's Club is having a golf outing at the Big Stone Golf Course. And we there's a musky. You, the guys who run that yes. are fantastic. Yeah, they right. are. Yeah, yeah. So Ed I'm, Jacobson, the owner, he yep. does a fine job. So we yes. got a lot going on in Three Lakes this we weekend. We certainly do. We got a sip and swirl this week. So I mean, <laughs> there's something for everybody. You in bet Mickey. there is. Twenty-five bucks. Get some at the door you said at the Writer's Center. At the Center, door the or ahead of time at the Writer's Center. Sounds great. Well, Vicki, we appreciate you coming on to chat oh, with thank us you. today. And thank this you. was a lot of fun. And might have to stop in Wednesday and, you know, sample I some I will hope so. All right. All right. Thanks for joining thank us. You. We'll You're right welcome. We're back here on Up North at 4. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a... This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Kitchen Bath Mart. You can always find great-looking furniture at incredible everyday low prices at Slumberland Furniture. Like these modern sectionals and sofas, starting as low as $3.99. And always free doorstep shipping. Get your look for less at Slumberland Furniture. College is great, but it's not the best path for everyone. Careers in the skilled trades are good-paying jobs that are badly needed. That's why I expanded skills training and I signed a bipartisan law to connect students and their parents to more information on apprenticeships in high demand fields. Folks, our high school students need to know all their options when it comes to their future. It's the right thing to do for our kids and for our economy. If you're ready to sell or thinking of buying, Northwoods Realtors are ready to help. Local Realtor professionals are knowledgeable on our unique market and the multiple listing service maximizes exposure for the benefit of sellers and buyers alike. Visit upnorthmls.com today to view properties for sale or to find a realtor who can help you sell or buy in the beautiful Northwoods. Wet basement got you down? Is that damp, musty odor preventing you from using your home the way you want to? A wet, damp basement is a real problem that can worsen asthma and allergies, affect indoor air quality, and even damage your valuables. Let SureDry protect your home. When it comes to basements, nobody does it better. SureDry will transform your basement into dry, usable space and improve the air quality of your entire home. Call SureDry today. You can always find great looking furniture at incredible everyday low prices at Slumberland Furniture. Like these modern sectionals and sofas, starting as low as $3.99. And always free doorstep shipping. Get your look for less at Slumberland Furniture. Welcome on back here to Up North at 4. You might remember a few weeks ago, we had the newest head coach of the Wisconsin Windigo, Blake Kedela, on yeah. our show. You remember this. And then Jeff yes. and I had a little shootout and I think you won, what, 2-1? to one? I won, win? I think we tied 0-0. Zero to zero. Oh. We were both terrible. But oh. I have an excuse because I never played hockey. Well, I did, like, back in the day. I say, you actually played back in the oh. day. I can barely skate as is, so Jeff should have wiped the floor with me. But, hey, it's enough of that. We are clearly, though, not talented at hockey, but 
These guys are very talented yeah. in hockey. The Stanley Cup final Love going this time on. Of year. Game three going to be taking place tonight. The uh, Avalanche have a 2 0 lead over the Lightning, who are, by the way, the back to back Stanley Cup champions. It's been a really fun series to watch. Jeff, have you been checking it out at all? Every once in a while, but I've had the craziest work you schedule. Have had a lately. Crazy work yeah, schedule. I have not yeah. watched much. Well, there's a game three tonight, so if you got time, Throw it on in your, in your office, maybe okay. check it out a little bit. And clearly we are not as talented as some of the guys that we'll see on the ice tonight. Yeah. However, we can still be real hockey players. And by that, I mean we can know the lingo. We're so hoping to go play, actually, this fall. We are right? hoping to go play. And I feel like before we go play, we should get to know what some of these words mean, right? Because okay. guys like to throw words around. So I'm going to quiz yeah. you a little bit are on some hockey terms. Are there words in here? No, okay? no, no. We're going to keep it all, all right. family friendly, all right? So the first one, you got to say it as a Canadian, too, because it's a Canadian sport. You're such a hoser, Jeff. <laughs> You're a hoser. You know you, what that means? You betcha. <laughs> do, you know what, do you know what a hoser no, means? What's any a hoser? Guesses? Do you have any guesses? No. All right, we'll take a look here. So a hoser means is. you're a loser, right? Oh, oh you're such Hoser's a loser. Hoser's a loser? It means you're a loser. So I guess Canadians back in the say day, you're a hoser, not a loser? I guess back in the day, if you lost a game, you had to go hose off the ice because they didn't have oh, Zambonis. You're a hoser. So it was like saying, oh, you're such say a loser. Say hoser again. You say it right. You're a hoser. Yeah, okay, you got to yeah. say it with the Canadian accent, all right? So yeah, you're 0 for 1, tough start. Let's see if you can get this next one here, Jeff. Okay. Let's take a look. Gong show. <laughs> You ever gong, heard the term gong, gong show? show? We I've got a real gong term, show going on. But I don't know what it means in hockey lingo. In, in, or in general, hockey what lingo. do you think it means? It means the show's over, right? It's like a... Like the a, gong... Like it, like it. Yeah, like sound it's the alarm. a good guess. So basically, it just means there's a chaotic situation going yeah. on. Like a big fight. You can also use it I was going to say like the S hitting day. the fan, you know, kind of thing. It's, like it's kind of more like sideways. the weather last week. It's off Wednesday the rails. was a bit of a gong show. Nine yes. tornadoes, right? A gong show. I'm 0 for 3 so far, Jeff. But you have a chance... Or sorry, 0 for 2. You have a chance to redeem yourself here. Let's take a look at the third one. Have you heard the term lettuce? You hey, got some lettuce going on, bud. No. You've never heard no. this one? You play no. hockey, you never heard lettuce? No. I feel like this like is... A, I, like I thought this would be Canadian a gimme terms? one. It means you got great hair. <laughs> right? You got some it lettuce does? on your head. You've never heard this? No, and no one's ever told me that, so I don't think I've ever had Do you want to Do you want to grow... We should grow our hair out before we go uh, try out play, for the window. You get a, like a mohawk going on and back then, here? Yeah, mullet. See if they say, hey, boys, yeah, you got mullet, some great lettuce. Mullet, not a mohawk. Mohawk, okay. So... We now know these All right, terms. We're we can, zero. We can, I'm zero for three, but now I know. Now you know. We the can talk to talk the this fall yeah, when we're at the Windigo game. The hoser. So, Jeff, yeah. we're going to do a little game after the break. So Another one? Putting you on the spot again. We'll be right back here <laughs> on Up North makes at me four. Do. Is it time to update your driveway? Contact s and Asphalt to blacktop your driveway. An update not only looks nice, but it saves on maintenance and adds value to your property. Seal coating and black topping, residential driveways, commercial properties, and private roads. SB is equipped for the job. With a strong reputation as an honest company with competitive pricing, you don't need to turn anywhere else. Call SB Asphalt today for a free estimate. When you're a parent, you're always on the lookout for things that can harm your kids. Like, I thought I knew where to find tobacco products right here in the same spot the kids stop for candy and snacks. Turns out, this isn't the only place that tobacco is trying to blend in. Backpacks and hoodies with built-in e-cigarettes? Vapes that look like makeup and smartwatches? Tobacco companies are keeping young people hooked with products that hide a dangerous nicotine addiction in plain sight. Tobacco is changing parents. We've got to keep up. Menards is the destination for your next project. Save on bath and kitchen faucets from Moen. Moen faucets give you a lifetime of beauty, reliability, and innovative features. Right now, all Moen faucets are 11% off. New door handles and levers are a simple way to show off your style. Menards offers 100 designs and 6 finish options in stock of quick set interior handles and levers. Now all 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Join us for the historic 50th anniversary celebration of the Iola Car Show July 7th through the 9th. America's greatest car show features thousands of swap vendors, thousands of show cars, and much more. Special guests this year include Overholland's Chip Foots, Kevin Sorbo of TV's Hercules' The Legendary Journeys, and members of the cast from American Graffiti. Friday's musical lineup includes iconic chart toppers The Grassroots, plus the doo-wop daddies and road trip. Find out more at IolaOldCarShow.com. 
Welcome back. Uh, clearly, here on Up North at 4, our hockey skills aren't the best. No, it's a gong we, show. We, it is a gong show. There you go. You're picking up on it. <laughs> but one thing we kind of make up for in our lack of hockey skills is our love of dogs. And anytime you come around the station, there's probably a dog, whether it's Theo, mm -hmm. Moses, Jeans in here from time to time, mm -hmm. Zoe. There's always a dog at Newswatch, so it feels like we love dogs. Yeah. But we don't have any corgis around. However, if you happen to be in San Francisco over the weekend, you might have been able to check out what they call Corgi Con. Jeff, have you heard about this they before? Heard of this. Thousands of people show up on the beach with their corgis, or if they're just fans of corgis, they get them dressed up for costume and contests. Corgis are super smart. Like, they'll wear the sunglasses. Oh, yeah. They have races. They're very fast dogs, despite how, okay. like, little their legs are. They're like little centipedes. I know. I, I think corgis are just kind of goofy, and that's what makes yeah. them so cute. I love corgis. They're very cute dogs, in my opinion, but sometimes... Not all dogs are cute, right? No, You've seen there are some, some dogs that, have that are a little difficulties with looks. Yeah, and you don't want to say that to the no, owner, but you think right. it, right? Some yeah. people, though, actually just kind of embrace how it's kind ugly of that their whole baby is. thing. Like some babies just aren't cute. You're too. not going to say that, though. right? You can't say it. You can't say right. that. But some people, like I said, they embrace it so much that they enter their dog in the world's ugliest dog contest. Well, so way to to embrace that. So today is Ugly Dog Day. This contest actually takes place on Friday. You might be thinking, okay, that's really mean. It's really rude to <laughs> the like dogs. I like your lower third, dog of your dog nightmares. of your nightmares. Yeah, because you <laughs> you don't want to run into these guys in the alleyway. It's not, you know, they kind of do make fun of the dogs a little bit, but they actually help raise some money for rescue animals. It's all for a really good cause. And to get kind of in spirits of ugly dog contest coming up this this week, I figured we could do a little judging ourselves. Okay. Okay, we so judge? we're going to play a little game here. I'm going to show you, Jeff, a few of the uh, previous winners from the ugliest dog contest. We're going to rate them 1 through 10. Let's say 1 is they're very cute. You okay. cuddle with them. Ten is get that dog away from, away from me. This thing it. is terrifying. All right. So Here's we're going to take one. a look at oh. Peanut. This is oh. the winner in 2014. Where are you rating uh, Peanut so on the scale here? One is get away from me, and ten is one is you're very cute. Ten okay. is get away from me. Okay. You're terrifyingly ugly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to write a, write it down. Okay, and then we're going to reveal our answers here in a okay. second. Yeah. All right, Jeff. On three, three, two, one, go. I what? gave him an eight. Four. A four. Four. You don't think he's that ugly? Peanut's pretty ugly. But a four is, like, not bad. It's middle of the road. Okay. I said pretty ugly. Okay, so maybe I'm the one setting the bar high. Okay. And you're just a nicer guy than me. All right, let's take a look at our right, second dog Peanut here. survives another round. So this is Martha. This is the winner in 2017. The big jowls on her. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it, Jeff. I don't think Martha's... I she's think not, Martha's got some looks. She's not pretty, but she's not ugly. No, I think it's an eight. You're going the other way. That's like really ugly. <laughs> Ten's like the ugliest. <laughs> but being <it's> ugly. <laughs> wow. So you think she's ugly? I said five. I would. I would take Martha for a walk. No. I wouldn't want to own her, but mm. I'd take her for a walk. No. No. Okay. Martha's probably full of slobber. You know what I mean? All those, right. All those, right. those, those. Yeah. That's fair enough. Let's take a look here at the next dog if we can. We got Quasimodo. Oh. He has. A, he's a dog with a short Quasi spine syndrome. Is just, okay. So it's actually a thing. He's healthy otherwise. He's a great dog. Okay. It's a great name. Let's be honest here. Yeah. I'm gonna say it. Quasimodo, not the worst looking dog I've ever seen. No, I think Quasi is like cute. He's kind of cute. You know, I'll give him a nine. You're going the other way. Ten <laughs> is really ugly. So that means he's really ugly. What are you giving him a nine for? I give him a five. I would, I would really? cuddle up with Quasimodo. Yes. All right. I've, I've, I've explained yeah, the rules would. of the game enough. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go on another dog I'm here. I'm purposely not paying attention uh, this, to you. <laughs> Let's see if this, it makes you mad. This has... Uh, an insane name, oh, Sweepy Rambo, which I don't know where that name comes from. Uh, he or she was the 2016 champion. I Look at the he, left yeah, eye. Have you seen the movie Gremlins the right eye. from like 84? Yes. That's what That's Sweepy Rambo looks like to me. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm going to say it, Jeff. Sweepy Ran Rambo. What would you give him? I'm going 10. You had 10? 10. The worst 10? Okay. Like, that's like nine. as bad as it gets. Yeah. So 10, 9, we're, you know, split the difference. Yeah. Nine yeah. and a half. That's not too bad. Nine plus 0.5. Nine plus, all right. So we'll, we'll work round with up. That. We'll work with Are that. there more of these? I believe so. I believe we got one more if we can pull okay. that one up okay. here. Uh, I don't know. How would you say this name? Zaza? Oh. Zaza? Zaza? Zaza Gabor. Remember Zaza Gabor? No idea what you're okay. talking about right Zaza. now. Zaza. Okay, so I'll, I'll trust your your word there. Okay. Uh, name yeah. so nice, they named her twice. It's like pull, like part bulldog in it's here. It's a bulldog. Right? She's got massive yeah, like shoulders, a super two. long tongue. Super yeah, cool dog. Yeah. 
I'll give her a three. All right, we're close. We're, this is so we're close. We're kind of getting so back far. into it. Um, and then if we have Last time, one. let's take a, another gander at one more. This one is <laughs> genuinely <Okay>. terrifying. <laughs> Sam, this one, this if, one if you notice, <laughs> Sam won three straight world's ugliest dog yeah, competitions. For good reason. Yeah, Sam, you gotta you're probably a great mm -hmm. personality, but <laughs> my goodness, I'm going to see that dog yeah, Sam, in my nightmares tonight. You think tonight. Sam knows, like, hey, I have, I have issues? I think so. Okay. Sam, I love you. We appreciate you. This is a lot of fun. We'll have to watch this event on Friday. But in the meantime, Jeff, we're going to take another break and chat a little bit on the other side. All we'll right. see you then. Olson Solar Energy would like to thank everyone who has trusted us with their local solar installations. And to those of you still considering solar, give us a call to set up a free evaluation and get your project booked in 2022. Discover the benefits of a lower or no energy bill and take advantage of federal tax credits. The time is now. Go green, save green with Olson Solar Energy. Wherever you are in life, Rasmussen University offers the flexibility and support you need to earn your associate's, bachelor's, or master's degree. Here in Wausau or online nationally at any time. With a dedicated advisor, mentoring, and career services before and after graduation, it's go time. You take the first step and we'll help you take the next. Start now at rasmussen.edu. At Rasmussen University, green means go. What can I do with less asthma? With Depixin, I can do more. Crazy commutes, crowd control. Have a nice day, Alex. Nice Thanks, to Joe. Taking the stairs, that's how you do more with Depixin, which helps prevent asthma attacks. Depixin is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma that can improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks. I can reduce or even eliminate oral steroids. And here's something important. Depixin can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Are you ready to do more with less asthma? Just ask your asthma specialist about Depixin. Here we go! Engage couple Flex LeBrec and Chris DeGange. We're both going for our 10th buzzer, and it's a competition. She's going down. Come on! I got this. American Ninja Warrior, tonight on NBC. Oh! I was hypnotized. All right, so Jeff, hot today ah. and tomorrow, it sounds hot. like. Yeah, 92 out there right now, 94 over in Wausau. Currently, record highs are not really in jeopardy. Record high is 98 in Wausau today. Uh, tomorrow, same story, followed by some relief. By the way, last Wednesday, that severe weather event, mm -hmm. nine right. confirmed tornadoes so far from that event on Wednesday evening. You know what, Jeff, I say bring on the fall. It's my bring favorite time of year anyway. But thanks, Jeff. Like, thanks hot. for watching. We'll see you tomorrow <laughs> on Up North at 4. Bye.